Welcome to Bharat Insights. Today I'm back with another interesting video for everyone on this Microsoft Power BI, uh, an important interview concept called Time Intelligence Tax. So whether you are a fresher or an experienced person, this video is hel very much helpful for you. So we are going to do the time intelligence functions from the scratch. We will prepare our own data set. Then we will import the data set into this Microsoft Power BI and we do all our calculations. So what exactly the meaning of this time intelligence, you know? So when you're working in an organization, there are lots of transactions may happen like a sales revenue and all so business obviously wants to know how their sales or you know profits are moving across different time zones different patterns like trends and patterns so it can be like you know month on month or you know quarter on quarter or how yearly your business is moving and all so that calculations can be done in this Microsoft Power BI with the help of this time intelligence tax okay so this is a Microsoft Power BI and this is actually an empty file so still I have to load the data so before loading the data we have to prepare our own data set okay so let me prepare the data set so this is a brand new excel file so let's take one column called date and uh, another column called sales so let's do one thing let's take a two years of data okay so let me take 2023 uh, is like you know the 2023 January one and I wanted to take it you know I'm dragging and dropping so I want to take two years of data so I want till December 20 31st 2024 so basically it is till 732 row uh, yes so till here I want yep so it, it is basically 31 12 2024 and the top we have you know January 1 so it is basically telling us two years of data now let's take uh, the random sales for each and every single day. So for that, let me use some function in Excel called rand between. So I want in my businesses, you know, assume generating sales from 10 to the max is 100. Okay. Or let's take 90. Close the bracket and click on enter. So just click on double click so that it can be applied for all. So right now it is a rand between, right? So what I'm doing, so copy this cell and paste it as general value so that the formula can be eliminated in the cells. So you can save this file. Okay, I've just saved this file as time intelligence use case. So what we can do now, let's load this table into our use case. So let me go back to Microsoft Power BI. Okay, so click on get data, click on Excel. Okay, so we have this use case, click open. So in that Excel, we have only one single sheet called sheet one. So that sheet can be loaded into Microsoft Power BI. So let's see the two columns. Yes, we can see the two columns which we have just now. So click on load. So now the data, of, you know, available in Excel can be available, you know, loaded here with the help of import mode. Okay. So once the data is ready, you know, available for us to do the calculations, then we are good to move to the next steps. Perfect. So now you could see the date and sale. So let me rename this, uh, you know, sheet one as a proper meaningful name. Uh, let's take a sales. Okay. We are, we are dealing with the sales table and uh, we have only two columns like, you know, date hierarchy. We could see date as well as the sales. Okay. And now we have to create the DAX measures. Okay. So what kind of a DAX measures we are going to do? So let's talk with a use case. Okay. Let's go back to the definitions sheet. So let's try to understand as a sales manager, I want to know how much sales we have done so far in the current month to track our monthly target progress. This is one of the scenario for you to understand this month month level target. So for that, you have to use the DAX measure called, you know, current MTD. So let's calculate the current MTD. So this, this is actually the background. You could see here canvas background. I just prepared this canvas background in the PPT and I have, you know, added as a layer here. Okay. So now we are done with this table. So before creating the DAX measure, let's, you know, as I told, let's go to the modeling, click on this new table. So I, this is one of the best practice you have to follow in the industry. So let's give your name of this table called time intelligence okay click on enter so all the DAX you can directly save in this so you you're not disturbing your main table so let's click on this new measure so let's try to aggregate the total sales okay you have in the, your business sales column let's create a measure called total sales which is very easy sum of and uh, you have the sales right so sales table sales and just click on enter so now you have calculated the total sales so first measure what we are trying to do with respect to the definition is the current MTD. So your business wants to track the current MTD sales. Just click on here again, click on new measure and uh, the measure name can be current MTD is equal to. So you have 
the DAX measure called total MTD. So you could see the syntax. It is asking for an expression. We want to calculate the total sales. And in that total sales, we have to give the particular date. So we have this date called sales of date. So from that entire two years of data, it will only get the current, uh, you know, total MTD. So let's just click on enter and uh, just take a new card and see the functionality, whether it is working or not. So you can keep this in this fashion and uh, you can drag and drop this current MTD into this fields. Okay, let's do some formatting. Okay, so quickly you can do the formatting. Let us uh, let me keep current value is 25. Let me give the white is color and uh, uh, you know the font you can change it to Sego UI bold and uh, label you can give it to you know 20 and again you can change the color to white but I cannot see the values let's go to the FX remove the background perfect so I could see my perfect uh, you know the measure with respect to the current MTD it is 1633 but whether it is true or not let's evaluate uh, you know the real real time use case so my data is showing you know 2024 so my current month here it's is December 12th okay 2024 is a December so what is the current MTD is basically you could see you know here the first so which starts from is equal to so let me just select this so that you could read the numbers in the bottom so let me select from here and you could see the total summation is of 1633 go back to power bi it's 1633 so current mtd is basically for the month of december from 1st to 31st how much sales are happened so this resembles the 1633 it's perfect so let's create another another measure called a new measure so let's calculate sometimes your business wants to understand the current QTD so further let's go back to the definitions okay you have the new page called definitions page let's say your company works on a quarterly bonus system okay and you need to check how much sales have been done in the current quarter to evaluate eligibility so this is one of the scenario most of the business you know perform so for that the time intelligence the current QTD is similar you have total QTD as a DAX measure here so in the total QTD let's take the total you know sales as one of the expression and define your uh, date so it's sales date close the bracket and click enter okay so we have to see uh, whether it's working or not so what I'm doing I'm taking the same measure I wanted to replace for all so let me remove this uh, you know I'm, I'm just keeping for all so in this let me paste current QTD perfect so it is 4734 so let's evaluate whether the 4734 is correct or not go back to this so we are in the month of December the current QTD let's say for the January to December the final QTD can be last three months so 10 11 12 is my the total sales so, so October 1st so let's calculate from here and uh, if I select all these things, I'm getting 4734. So 4734 and 4734 is matching. So current QTD is working fine for me. Okay. Now let's go back to another interesting scenario, current YTD. So imagine the CEO wants to see how much revenue we have made from January 1st to today to assess this year performance against the yearly goal. So you, the companies will have the yearly goal, right? So this measure will give the, uh, you know, CEO whether we are on target or not, how much we need to do more and all. So let's go to the time intelligence click on new measure so the DAX name can be current YTD is equal to you have the same measure called total YTD and in the same total measure YTD give the total sales okay total sales and click on comma and define your date range so you need to have the date column so that date will give you the total YTD oh let's give this current YTD here okay so let me remove the values, display it as none, okay? But let's calculate whether we are getting 18536 or not, okay? So we are in the 2024. So my 2024 usually starts from the month of January and it is on here. So let me drag and drop. Yeah, if I select everything, I'm getting 18536. So here also I'm having 18536. It means my measure is working fine okay so this way you can do all your time intelligence functions so that your business can understand more and more so now go back to the definitions now there may be scenarios for your previous MTD why do we use this previous MTD let's say you're analyzing last month sales pattern to identify what worked and what did not work so maybe you want to compare this month sales 
to the previous month sales okay so in this scenario you can use the previous month to date so let's click on this time intelligence create a new measure so let me rename this measure as previous MTD so for that click on calculate so I want the total sales okay I'm using a calculate DAX measure so in this calculate so we have so after calculate we have previous month is the tax measure okay previous month and in the previous months in the previous months I wanted to use dates MTD so in that my calendar table it have to only calculate the date MTD then you could see the syntax it is asking for the date so my date can be sales of date column let me close the bracket click on enter so in this if I drag and drop previous MTD I am able to see 1545 so it means come back to the Excel file so we are on the month of uh, you know December so my previous month is the November so November 1st to November 31st how much sales I am able to see which is 1545 my power bi is also saying 1545 so this way the companies will compare the current month to the previous month so if we are you know the growth we could able to see okay so in the previous month we are only 1545 current month we are 1633 so we have done progressively better okay so this is how the comparison can be done and uh, similarly I wanted to see you know current QTD versus the previous QTD so for that let me click on new measure so previous QTD is equal to so I'm using a calculate DAX measure and in the calculate I want to calculate the total sales and you could see the another interesting DAX function called previous quarter and then dates QTD okay so then again I have to define my date range close the bracket click on enter so you could you have to you know I'm just copying and pasting so just remove this old measure drag and drop the new measure so I could see 4508 go back to the definitions and see why do we use it let's say you are preparing a quarterly review and you want to know how your team performed in the last quarter to compare this with this quarter so in this kind of scenarios we will be using this you know previous QTD there are many scenarios but in if, if your interviewer is asking uh, can you talk more of your time intelligence DAX what kind of time intelligence DAX you have performed in your projects at least you can give this as an example so that you know you'll get some better impact in your interviews so let's compare to with Excel sheet okay so my previous quarter can be 8 9 you know uh, 10 11 12 is done okay now 789 so let's go here seventh month to tenth month it's 4508 4508 okay 789 is my previous quarter and 10 11 12th month is my you know current quarter so 4508 4734 and the current quarter is performing better than my previous you know previous quarter see this data is generated randomly but still we could see the growth here but similarly your industry or organization data works in the same pattern okay now I wanted to see another definition previous YTD let's say suppose you want to analyze how did you, you know how you have done your business in the last year and you can compare that with the current years progress so far so for that you want to know current years is fine this is for 2024 what about 2023 so let's create a new measure click on new measure and uh, the name can be previous YTD is equal to calculate okay calculate the total sales I want my total sales comma and my thing can be previous year you have the DAX function it is asking for the dates to define so my dates can be take the dates complete year and my date column is from the sales date date so just click on enter and try to see whether it is working or not so remove this drag and drop the original measure it is 18149 let's compare from the excel sheet okay so 2023 starting from here so i want to take from the month of 12 so 12th month ended here let me move up it is yes you could see 18149 as a summation so if I go back to my power 18149 so measures are working fine so in this kind of a scenario you could see the growth from the previous year to the current year so this is how business most of the business do if you're watching my video till here just give it a subscribe button it will motivate you know me to do a lot of interesting use cases for you to crack your power bi interviews okay thank you so much for subscribing like this video and share across your channels it will you know 
reach to larger audience and if you have any question so far you can comment on this video okay so let me move to the another topic called uh, you know uh, same period last year MTD so this can be done let's say your business okay you are tracking your current month sales okay and you want to see how you're performing in the same date range in the last year to check basically the year on year growth it is nothing but you have to compare 2024 December to 2023 December most of the financial analysis financial companies do this kind of a comparison so in that we have a easiest measure in the power bi just click on new measure so calic uh, let me give my name same period last year first calculate for month to date is equal to uh, calculate we wanted to look for the current MTD then we have to compare the last year MTD so for that let me reuse the formula which is already done so current years MTD comma the DAX measure called same period last year so this defines a simplified method it directly goes to your calendar table take the last year and is asking only to define the range so my date is sales of date click on enter done so let's take this DAX measure and see whether we are on the same zone or not so let me remove this same period last year okay it is showing me 1583 let's go back to the Excel so we want to calculate the December 2023 from 1st to 31st so if it is giving me the same yes it is giving me 1583 and my power b is also 1583 so this way you have to compare the same period but the last year date ranges so this is how you can do with the help of this formulas some similarly i wanted to do my quarterly analysis for the last year okay so click on this new measure and my measure name can be same period last year qtd is equal to calculate okay okay it is giving me some different function calculate uh, expression can be current qtd okay comma the same function same period last year just give the date range okay so this is how you can able to demonstrate in your interviews whether your interviewer is asking and so just uh, you know copy paste this the same format remove this same period last year QTD it's giving me 4539 when do we use this basically let's say your quarterly targets depend on showing better growth than the last year's Q2 so you want to compare how much you had earned Q2 of last year up to the same date so business wants to do this kind of an analysis in that situation we will be using this so let's try to compare so Q2 is basically you know 9 10 11 12 of this October 1st so go from here go from here to December December it's four three five nine four three five nine yes absolutely correct so we are on the same phase but let's let's similarly compare same period last year you know YTD so click on this new measure SEMPY same period last year and YTD I want to compare right now we are working with only two years of data so I think it is similar to previous YTD but let's check calculate uh, current YTD comma and the same period last year of uh, you know date just give the date range close the bracket click on enter so click on this I think we will be getting 18 because if we are dealing with the same only two years of data yes correct so it is nothing but 2023 overall data we are just trying to compare so we are we will be getting the same data okay so we are done with the time intelligence function okay so these are all the definitions and these are all the DAX functions this is just a part one video if you are having any doubts on any of the parameter just comment on this video so that I can quickly revert back okay so I will be keeping this file uh, you know the raw file for you in the description of this video you can practice with the same file or you can create your own excel file how i have demonstrated in the beginning of this video okay so thank you so much for watching this video if you are having any other question just comment out i'm happy to answer this is a part one i'll be releasing the next part so see you everyone thank you so much for watching here